And now, live from the studios of Freedom's Phoenix, Ernest Hancock. It ain't so groovy when you're screaming in the night. Let me out of this cheap B movie. Head long down the highway and you rush it head long out of control. And you think you're so strong, but there ain't no stopping. And you can't stop rocking and there's nothing you can, nothing you can, nothing you can do about it. Oh, there's something you can do about it. You can complain. Hey, 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 what's up, man? What's this going on? You know, I th- this is what's going on here in Arizona and Nevada and a lot, a lot of places, Florida, you know, the, all over the place. But, I, you know, it's definitely here in Arizona, I'll tell you, is um, our houses are worth a lot less than they were. Lot, 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 lot. Now, new people coming in and buying, you know, both of my children, my son, married, two kids, Bought a home that was probably a quarter million dollars before got it for 85000 Pool, three bedroom, two bath, nice neighborhood. My other daughter, she's getting, oh, she wants to get bigger house. I get bigger house than you. And she's willing to pay $160,000 for a nice home, tile roof, multi-level, got not, nice, nice. Matter of fact, tomorrow night, they're finally going to sign the papers today. Now, it was 173000 that they went down, 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 down. Finally, it's bank owned. They go here, somebody take it. Appraiser goes out there and says, Hey, this is only worth 160. They go, Okay, fine, 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 but we're not paying your costs. Yeah, you are. Okay, we will. 160. You know, this, and I'm afraid it's going to go down even more. Heck, it's going to be 60,000. I'm like, You know, you guys got to understand, you know, this is, yeah, but our payments are only, you know, fill in the blank, 1,100 or something. My other, my son's is 600 and something dollars for a nice three bedroom, uh, two bath home with a pool here in Phoenix. 600 and something dollars a month. My other son just got engaged. He's got, I got two boys, two girls. You know, I got a third one on the way to get married, and they're going to oh, we'll buy us a house. And I'm like, look, you know, it's a good time to buy now because the interest rates are still low. So your monthly payment may only be $600 or something, which is not bad. You know, it's like, uh, you know, your parents may be out there back in the day, they bought homes and they're making $200 a month payment when, uh, you know, at a time when everybody else's is $2,000. What does that tell you? You know, it's a tenth, the inflation, 10 times what payments are for the same home later. You know, it's just, so I'm going, you know, what can we look to in the future? I'll bet you they're going to be upside down in a home, even with a low payment. They're going to be upside down in the home. These prices aren't going to go up for long. They're going to keep going down, I'm telling you. And they go, but dad, our payments only. All right, fine. You know, just FYI, you're fully informed. So I need it. We got Stuart Veneer on. Now, Stuart, he has realtycrisis.com. He helps people out in these situations so that they can just get out from under this. Still live there until they finally kick him out. But you now he does all the paperwork, take care of it, takes the tax hit and everything. Don't worry about it. He's got taken care of. But he's out there on the front lines. How's business, Stuart? I mean, there are a lot of a lot of people taking advantage of your service. What's going on? We are pretty busy. Uh, I would rather be doing loans for people, but uh, we are busy. We've helped a lot of people. But uh, we've got a lot of problems out there in this country. The housing uh crisis really isn't going to correct itself until the rest of the country corrects itself. Uh, it's not going to happen until the demand for housing uh, equals or exceeds the supply. And right now, it's the other way around. Okay, now, well, how are they keeping the supply off the mark? I, my wife is the real estate agent for my kids. You know, she's a real, uh, real estate agent. She's been doing this a long time. In fact, I have my license. You know, I've, I've uh, you know, been involved in mar- I just did it because I had three weeks and took the ca- class and everything. I sent them all down anyway. But it was interesting education that I got out of this thing. And I'm just going, okay, so tell me, let me tell you, you know, from my perspective, what's going on. There is a glut of homes sitting out there at the peak in 07, 06, 07, at the peak here in Arizona, 40% of the homes that were for sale were vacant. That is unsustainable. Now we have articles on Freedoms Phoenix yesterday saying that the government is talking about putting for rent on all of these homes that Freddie and Fannie own. They need to do something. They're not selling them. They got to do something with them. So I'm wondering, you got to tell me, where's this inventory? It's just sitting there? People are going in, taking the copper? I mean, what's going on with it? A lot of them are sitting vacant. Uh, It's really not very good. But the big problem that we're faced is not so much just housing, it's the whole economy. I mean, people do not have the confidence or the ability to go out and buy a home today. And that's not going to happen until we have a change of administration or a complete change 
an attitude of this administration, which I don't see happening. Uh, the red businesses aren't hiring people. The employment figures are atrocious in most of the country. And people just don't have the ability and the desire to go out and buy a home and uh, make that leap. Don't tell me you think they're going to elect a, a Republican president and happy days are here again. I mean, is that what you're holding out for? I'm sure hoping that, but, uh, you know, we cannot... And what are they uh, going to do? What are they going to do that's going to make the difference? What are they going to do? Eliminate the Fed? They're going to stop the corruption? They're going to stop the no. spending in Congress? <laughs> they're not going to extend the debt? They're not going to... I mean, come on. They're going to stop the wars? They're going to bring home the empire? They're not going to, you know, increase the debt? I mean, what is a Republican going to do? Help me out here, man. You're well, the first thing I'd like to see is, number one, get rid of this Dodd-Frank uh, bill. Get rid of this horrible uh, health care bill drill for oil everywhere, and uh, make some lasting, permanent tax cuts and incentives for business. And this country can turn itself around. It's not going to happen with what we have in It Congress. can turn itself around no. in a freaking micro moment. The second government just gets the hell out of the way. But they don't want to get out of the way. They just want to, you know, turn the lever a different way or turn the dial or something. You know, they, they still want to micromanage and socially and economically engineer you. And until they stop doing that... Markets are going to flood their money somewhere else. They're going to say, "Look, man, yeah, we're not doing business here in America," you know, because it's and to think that the even if they get make you feel better with their rhetoric, it's what they do, and they keep increasing. You think they're going exactly. to give up something? Well, I can only hope for that. But it's uh, the the big power that the people have is the power of the vote. And if people can show this and do the right thing and vote for the right people, then I think it can change. But it's not going to happen easily. Okay, it's gone. Let's go ahead and walk this through. Republican Eisenhower, Democrat uh, JFK, Democrat LBJ, uh, Republican Nixon, uh, Republican Ford, Democrat Carter, Republican Reagan, Republican uh, Daddy Bush, Democrat Clinton, Republican George W, www.warmonger.com, and we have... Uh, Democrat Obama, and I'm wondering at what point did any of them reduce government? When did that happen? Well, I think Eisenhower was a great president. <laughs> I mean, this country thrived under Eisenhower. Uh, I think Reagan did a great job. Government increased, the debts increased, the wars increased. You know, I mean, it's just and and when we when we went through the um, the SNL thing was kind of a byproduct of Reagan going. You know what? We're going to deregulate banking, savings, and loan. You can do whatever you want. Oh, but by the way, we're going to insure it. Oh, what did you think was going to happen? You know, well, that was that was a big mistake because all they did was uh, redo and remake the savings and loan crisis of a decade earlier. Yeah, and this is what they're doing sure. now. They're they're going. You know what? We're going to deregulate. Oh, we need deregulation. Libertarians are all about deregulate all you want. But don't make me on the hook to pay for when they screw up, which is what Ron Paul keeps going on about this malinvestment thing. Of course they're going to do it because they know they are safe. They're going to take get taken care of. And if they didn't get some blank filled in to where they're guaranteed get taken care of, all right, well, we'll just make a new one and just give you $700 billion. Oh, and you need more? Well, Federal Reserve will print that up too. Oh, and you need more overseas? Well, we'll just give them central banks some more money too. I mean, this is so broke. What is the flush? When does this all get fixed? How does it get flushed out? It is not going to be the election of any Republican, even Dr. Paul. There has to be an actual implosion of the entire system, or all of a sudden Congress and the Senate come up with, you know what, we're going to be a free society again. When's that going to happen? How is this going to change? I don't know, Ernest. I know that something has to change, or we're really going down the tubes. No, we're going down the tubes. That's how it's going to change. We need to prepare. Got chickens? I mean, you know, this is what I'm talking about. So I need from you, when we come back in the next segment, I'm going to need, you know, just give me some anecdotal, uh, you know, uh, evidence, some stories, some, you know, your personal experiences about, you know, what you're doing in the field that you are and how the banks are making use of, of uh, the turmoil that's going on now to hide or to, I, you know, I don't see how they've held off this long. And we haven't even gotten to the commercial real estate yet. That ain't, we haven't even, that ain't even been scratched yet. You know, that we hadn't even taken off the first shoe yet. I, or we just took off the shoe, hadn't dropped it. We're just smelling the sock. Man, you wait till the shoes start raining. Oh, we'll talk about more with Stuart Veneer from RealtyCrisis.com here and declare your independence in just a little bit.